This is a video of a 2017 Chevy Volt and how to remove the electrical plug on the EGR valve and replace the 15 amp fuse that blows because of the problem with the EGR valve. The first thing you do is go to the car and you open up the hood. Hood latch lever is right on the left side, driver's door. From there, you go to the front of the car and you have to lift up the hood. The hood latch is on the, to the left of the main, of the very front. What you do is you simply pull it to the left after you find it. You can see the little yellow latch right there. Push it. I'll do that again. Push it to the left and lift the hood. After you lift the hood, you need to put the latch up straight up to secure it. See that? And here's the engine. You need to do two things. The first is to remove the electrical plug on the EGR valve. This is the EGR valve right in the front of the engine. And the very front of this thing here, this is the EGR valve, and this is the plug you're removing. I'll show you when I remove it how it's done, but you put your finger underneath on the main body of this plug here, and you push up, and then you pull out. I'll show you that on the bottom. What you're doing is you're trying to get to this gray pin here and you're pushing that up towards the center. I'll do that again. It just snaps on, but to remove it, put your finger underneath and push up and that'll release that pin right there. It's releasing that in the front. So that's what you release and you just leave that unplugged, just like that. And then you'll need to replace a 15 amp fuse. You come over to the fuse box. The fuse box is held by three clips. Usually it's pretty loose in there and you can just lift it up. But if not, push the plastic pin in and by pinching it, you can just push in the black plastic pieces on the edge you can lift it up and that releases the whole thing once you get that open you're looking for fuse F03 one way you can do it is to look here on the list what you're looking is F03 non walk home no idea why it's called that but on this uh, little map, it shows F03 as being right, let's see where we at. F03 is right there. So if you translate that to here, it's very simple. You just go to the very top left and it's the first blue fuse right to the uh, the, the top left of the fuse box. And to remove it, you take this white thing. This is a fuse remover. And it's stuck in there. You gotta just pull it out. And you can see if you open it like this, it releases. I mean, if you push on the tabs in the top, it releases or it opens up the thing on the bottom. You go in here, you put it right on top of the fuse. Number 15, the 15 amp fuse, click it on there, just kind of squeeze and pull it straight up. And you can see if it's blown or not. If you look carefully in there, it doesn't really matter. What you're gonna do is you're gonna replace it no matter what. So you're gonna buy one of these fuses. And again, this fuse, I'll send a link with the name of it, but it's a 15, amp mini fuse.
So once you put the new one in, uh, then what you do is you put the new one in. This goes in the same slot that was before. Just push it in and then squeeze it out to get that out. And put this back wherever it was, somewhere in here. I don't know where this thing was. Uh, notice where I took it out from. But you take it out, put it back. If you want, you can put this back on. You don't have to, but snap that back on. Take the hood off. Make sure again that this is off of the EGR valve. And then you take this off, lift the hood up a little bit. Snap this back down in place down here. and drop the hood down and that is all.